Hello friends, uh, Armando Chacon with the West Central Association. I'm here with uh, Rod Birch and uh, Dave, the owner of Viaggio uh, that is opening his restaurant here. Uh, it hasn't opened yet, opening any day now. And we're super excited uh, to keep him on Madison Row here, right in the heart of the West Loop. Um, I actually lived a, a block from his previous location uh, just on the other side of uh, Ada there on Madison so a little disappointed to, to have him a little farther away uh, very very popular restaurant at his old location but uh, you could say that you're upgrading we're upgrading you're upgrading we're upgrading. so we're staying in the neighborhood exactly which is the most important it, exactly and, and on upgrading. Madison Road too by exactly. the way exactly. you know this is exactly the kind of business and restaurant we want uh, on Madison Row and in this neighborhood, which is a mix, of course, of various businesses and we support them all. But um, Madison Row, I often say, is where I see my neighbors. It's kind of Main Street uh, in the neighborhood. And I, again, uh, just really excited to, to keep you right here. And congratulations on your new location uh, here on, uh, on Madison and uh, Carpenter here. So with that, I'd like to ask a couple questions. Is that all right? Absolutely. So tell us, uh, how did, how do you get from there to here to this new location? Well, this just became available. I mean, we were there for 15 years. We had a great run and just things changed. We just decided not to stay there. And luckily I found this and it's a beautiful place. Uh, it's much newer than what we had. It's much bigger. It's just got a lot of things. And sure. it's, I think the most thing, it's more, in the neighborhood. I mean, it's more right. where, this is where the neighborhood, I've only been here a month. I've been here every day for a month and I can't believe how many people are out here, how friendly people are. I mean, it's like they've already embraced us even though we only moved three blocks, but it's like we moved three states away. I mean, it's really different. Well, you know, you've been a really a West Loop staple. Everybody knows who you are. Um, you're at your restaurant every day. I mean, I would go up and down there on Madison Street and I'd see you out there. Um, Usually with, I have a cigar. Yeah, it, that <laughs> yes, and and just being just being you, and you know Thank your you, personality it's... and and your passion to be here really stands out. I think, and I think it's great. Now, one of the nice things about your restaurant, we're gonna get to the food in mm -hmm. a in a bit, but uh, one of the things that I think a lot of my neighbors really like about uh, about your restaurant, as we have known it, is that it really does feel like a neighborhood spot. That's what we you want know. To be. I mean, I walk by there, I'll stop by there, I see, whoa, it's like, it's a little bit like Cheers kind of thing, you know? And it's and it's terrific. Mm -hmm. Well, I expect that will continue here. At the I think it'll be even more of a neighborhood spot. I mean, I cater to the neighborhood. That's that's my bread and butter. That's what I want. I mean, we get the United Center crowd, of course, and I think we'll still get that. But my neighborhood people know, if there's an event at the United Center, I'm busy at four o'clock, and by seven o'clock, now it's back to the neighborhood place. You know, so we're always a neighborhood place. And that's what we want to be. I mean, that's the people we care about. Period. Yeah. Well, I'm, we're excited. We're yeah. excited. Uh, now, let's talk about maybe the most important part, okay. the food. Well, the All food's right. going to be exactly the same. We've, okay. had, okay. we've had amazing food for 15 years. Sure. sure. That's not going to change. I mean, that's, unfortunately, I could be the nicest guy in the world. My bartender could be the greatest in the world. If the food's no good, you're not going there. Right. I mean, so the food will be the top-notch five-star food that everybody's used to. That's not true. And, you know, there's a lot to be said for traditional Italian and something, you know, you know where you're gonna get. Um, obviously, we're, we're, we have restaurants in the neighborhood, whether it be Italian or, or other cuisines that are maybe more contemporary, for example, Monteverde is just one example. Tell us about, you know, the dishes that you, you'll be serving here. Again, they're the same as they were in Viaggio, but for someone that had never been to Viaggio, sure. Uh, I mean, what, I'm, what the place, I'm the place, if you want lasagna in July, and you want lasagna in January, you're going to get lasagna. I mean, I'm not, God bless everybody what they do. My business model is, it's going to always be the same. I mean, we'll change a special here and there, but our core menu doesn't change with the seasons, doesn't, it's old school, it's 100-year-old recipe, so you're going to get that every time, the meatballs, the, you know, veal parmesan, the pork chop parmesan, the rigatoni Sunday pork gravy, all that stuff's gonna always be there. And that's being consistent, and people sure. like consistency. I mean, Sarah's great, she's yeah. across the street. We're friends, we're, we're very friendly, and she came, welcomed me with open arms. 
we're just different. I mean, she's, we're, we're both, yes, we're both Italian, but we're totally different Italian. We're old school Italian, and she, I call her fancy Italian, you know, so. Yeah. And, and you know, every, every meal that I've had at your restaurant, I can always count on it. it's gonna be really, really good. Mm -hmm. And number two is I don't leave hungry. Well, that's and, you for know, sure. and sometimes, sure. you know, I no, leave some true. of these restaurants, which are all great. Right. Uh, but sometimes, like, ugh, you know, let me get home and I get maybe have a bowl of cereal. My biggest complaint <laughs> but is not here. that we have too much food. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. I apologize that we're giving you too much food. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, no need to value engineer that part. You know, I mean, it's actually kind of nice to be able to have a great meal and then have some leftovers if you're not able to finish your sure. meal. Sure. So, um, all right. Well, Dave, it's, it's a pleasure. I've really yes. I've enjoyed getting to know you over the years. Thank Wish you. you the very, very best of this. luck. We're here to help you, and I know that our Western together. community and, and frankly, uh, people outside of the neighborhood will, will support you in a big way. Blackhawks fans, Bulls fans, people that go to concerts. Mm -hmm. um, I think uh, I think you got a bright future here. Congratulations. Thank you. The only thing I can say is nothing's going to change besides it's just a little prettier and bigger. It Everything is, else is, is going to be the same. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Well, cheers. Cheers to you. Congratulations. Man. Cheers to you. You'll be drinking in a second. <laughs>